Hi everyone, Kelsey here with another So What's New. And today we are going to be looking at Parisville, Tula Pink's latest collection from Deja Vu. And before we get started by looking at this really neat fabric and the project that I've made, I want to explain something to you. I watch Tula Pink's videos on um, Facebook, and if you ever watch them, you know that there's a reason things are the way they are with the color and the patterns, and you can just learn so much from Tula. Um, but anyway, Parisville and Deja Vu in specific, what she's going to be doing once a year is releasing an older fabric line like Parisville, it came out in 2010, in a brand new color scheme. And you may be asking yourself, why is she doing this? Well, her fabrics have become very collectible in the quilters world. They're um, pricey, the older ones like Parisville, and um, they've become very, very valuable. So she wanted to give um, new sewers and quilters and bag makers a chance at these older fabric prints that are super popular. We're talking Parisville. This is one of her most popular prints ever. This was her first fabric line with Free Spirit fabrics. Um, so she wanted to give new sewers a chance to create with these super popular prints that came out so long ago. So we're really fortunate that she, her and Free Spirit have come up with this idea of deja vu. So once a year, if it all works out, we are going to see a brand new colorway of an older collection. So I'm super excited. I couldn't wait to go home and sew with this. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the fabric and the project that I made. And um, so this is gonna be the main print in the collection, Parisville, and it's a take on Marie Antoinette. As you can see, there are a bunch of cameos, and Tula did say in the original print, Marie had three different hairstyles, but in this new print, she chose her favorite, which is the sailboat, and just has that going through each portrait. This is original, so she also said you may have to cut into one cameo to get to another if you're planning on fussy cutting for a block or a bag like I did. Um, so once again, I said there's a reason for everything when it comes to Tula Pink and Free Spirit. This collection's fat stack is an eight-piece fat stack. It's not called a fat quarter bundle because one, two, three, four, five, six, the top six prints are fat quarters. And then she included a whole yard of the cameo print and a whole yard of the damask print that we have yet to look at. So if you know you're going to become a Tula Pink collector yourself, go ahead and get this bundle because I think this is going to become very valuable as the years go on. But also, if you want to start creating with it right away, you get six fat quarters and then two one yard cuts of the larger scale prints. So you don't have to feel so bad about cutting into some of these cameos. Okay, next. So once again, these are the eight original prints from Parisville circa 2010 in a new colorway. And I love this one. This is gonna be um, the Deja Vu Topiary. I have this one all ready at home to make a bag. It's amazing, look at those colors. Um, and speaking of bags, I wanted to do something fast. So we uh, have this easy does it pattern up front with the Biani because as you know, any Biani patterns look good with Tula Pink. They show off the fabric and they show off the pattern. This pattern is only 80 cents and it's fat quarter friendly. You need three fat quarters total, one for the main, one for the lining, and one for the coordinate. But if you're gonna do like I did and put Marie Antoinette in the center of each side, you need a half yard. I struggled, <laughs> not gonna lie, because I didn't realize I needed a half yard for that. But, you know, happy accidents. Um, 
I ended up using the large print damask at the bottom and some different prints on the inside. And I think that this little cosmetic bag looks really nice and fun. It also has the By Annie Soft and Stable in it so it can stand by itself. Um, I used for the first time metallic zipper tape from Pam D'Amore. I have not used this multicolor zipper tape yet. I just haven't had a reason, but oh my gosh, it goes so nicely with this project. The zipper pull is very easy to pull on and um, I just love how it looks. So I cannot wait to use that again. So that's the easy does it bag, but any pattern by Annie will look nice in Parisville. So I used a little bit of this in my bag too. Kind of looks like cat eyes. Okay, here is the large scale damask print. Damask, I never know how to say that word. Potato, potato, but you get a whole yard of this if you get the fat stack. And if you're purchasing for your stash off the bolt, definitely consider getting more than half a yard because the scale is so big and beautiful. With that being said, it does cut down nicely. That's only a four and a half inch strip right there. And you do get a lot of interest. All right, moving right along. This is bolt seven. Really beautiful colors. Plus you get the sailboat in there again. And this is bolt eight. We're gonna link the free pattern that Free Spirit has for this. Um, maybe even show a picture up there. But I also wanted to show you, I just brought over two of Tula Pink's Tiny Dots and Stripes. They go perfect with this collection. I, like I said, I just brought over two, but everything she does is not coincidental. Um, Parisville looks beautiful with the dots and stripes. So when you come into our store, if you're local, you're gonna see these marketed Parisville with the dots and stripes because they're built in coordinates. You don't have to think about it. So everything's available in store or online at sewing.net. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy Parisville.